What's going on everybody? Today, we're gonna go for the first drive in the wagon. But before we can do that, we gotta fix some things on it. I'm gonna bring you here in just a second. Just wanna show you guys this. So, been doing some work on the RX-7 last night. Just getting everything finalized and you'll see something is different. We got both sides on there. So maybe not tomorrow, but for sure sometime in the next couple of days, we'll be making a video on the RX-7, showing you guys the steering rack and whatnot. I've got uh, the steering column out right now, just buttoning up a few little things, figuring out uh, the little U-joints and whatnot that I will need to finish it all up and actually get the steering rack on there so we can finally turn the RX-7 and push it normal instead of having to jack it up. So be on the lookout for that video. So real quick, I just gotta move the RX-7 out, bring the wagon in, and then I'll explain to you guys what we're gonna be fixing on the wagon before we can go ahead and drive it. Got her all pulled in, so really quick before I go get some food, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the VTEC solenoid off. It's leaking a whole bunch of oil down here. You probably can't see it, but I didn't uh, silicone it when I took it off. I took it off to check the uh, screen inside of it just to make sure it wasn't clogged. So I'm gonna be replacing that today and uh, just using some silicone on it and letting it dry before I start it again. Also, yesterday I was uh, checking the continuity between the two wires for the crank angle sensor. That's a check engine light we've been having recently and there's continuity between them. So the wiring is good. I went ahead and uh, because the wiring was good, I went ahead and picked up this new Dizzy from the parts store. It was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but honestly, I had the same issue with my CRX. I kept buying the cheap ones off eBay for like 50 to 70 bucks, and they would always have an issue. Something would always happen to them. So this was 180 bucks, but it's got a lifetime warranty, so it should have no issues. Also, Carlos ordered an oil pressure gauge. Just a cheap one off Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. So now we will actually be able to tell what oil pressure it has. Everybody's been saying get an oil pressure gauge because I guess these D-series are notorious for um, having issues with oil return back down into the pan. So I guess it all gets stuck up in the head and then returns really slow. So it actually starves itself of oil. Uh, I also did yesterday, I got this little adjustable fuel pressure regulator for it that bolts to the stock rail and I put this gauge on it just to make sure that it wasn't uh, crazy high uh, fuel pressure. Just gives us some more adjustability. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Dizzy on and take the VTEC solenoid off. And then I'm gonna go get some food while I wait for the gasket maker to seal up because I'm starving. And then when I get back, I will go ahead and put the oil pressure gauge on. Made some progress on the Wego. Y'all saw me change the Dizzy, put some silicone on the VTEC solenoid, leaked a whole bunch of oil everywhere. I did get the uh, like the oil pressure gauge sensor thing on the back of the oil sandwich plate. So uh, I was moving on to the next thing, and that is this right here. So check it. Made this little sick custom gauge pod. It's basically just, oh shit, this one fits in there tight. It's, it's uh, two pieces of two inch schedule uh, tacked together. So it actually is gonna work really good. Let me get in here and show you guys. So from my point of view, I was trying to figure out a, w a place where to mount it. I was gonna mount them over here on top of the dash, but then I was like, well normally when you're driving, right, you're always looking over here at the tack, so what other better place than to put it right here, right above the tack, so you can see the wide band and the oil pressure gauge at the same time. It's nice, it just pokes up a little bit above the steering wheel. I like it. Not bad for a little 30 minute dual gauge pod. And then I was just thinking if I wanna add some more, I can literally just go like this and keep 
I can keep just tacking them over all the way around, <laughs> around, around the cluster if I really wanted to. So it's uh, 5.30 right now. I'm gonna head out a little early tomorrow. We're actually probably gonna be driving it. It's Carlos's birthday today, so go hit him up, tell him happy birthday. I'm gonna go celebrate his birthday, and then tomorrow we're gonna drive the wagon. So just gotta come back tomorrow, wire up these gauges. Shouldn't take too long, then we're gonna go for a drive. All right guys, so it's the next day. Kyle's up and early. He's got some shit he's gonna be doing today with his wagon, so go check that out. But real quick, before he heads out, just wanted to show him the wagon build. What, what do you think of the wagon, though? Dude, you like it's it? Sweet. I like the manifold and everything. Finally That's all actually, done. It's all clean and running again. I think it's just crazy, because I know I just pulled my wagon outside just now, but it's like the three OG cars in the garage again. Yeah, it's And they're all funny. running right now. Like this wagon, mine, and the hatch. And like the three that started in here, yeah, or back in here. That's what, yeah, it is pretty cool. I honestly wish that this wagon was done so we could go with you to what he's about to do uh, today, but it's just not quite there yet. We are gonna go drive it around really quick, make sure it's all good. But I got the oil pressure gauge and everything installed. Start it up. You ready to start it up or what? Yeah, I wanna, wanna hear, hear it. how it sounds? Yeah, let's do it. It's been a minute since I've heard this thing run in person. A minute, huh? <laughs> all right. So. Got everything all wired up. Got the oil pressure gauge and the wide band there, so now I don't have to hold the wide band. And uh, I adjust the tune a little bit. Custom and actually, uh, I realized the map sensor was bad, so Kyle let me bum one off his hatch. So we'll have to get him one. But. Oh, and I put a new Dizzy on it. Look at that oil pressure go, baby. Go, go. Is that like 90 PSI is pretty decent. Sounds good. Yeah. That Sounds oil really good. Oil pump's working. Oh yeah, she's working good. Got like 90 PSI on idle. Oh yeah. Idling better. The wagon's alive again. Still need to play with the tune, but that new Dizzy and map sensor I think fixed it. Sounds so. good. Got the Honda over here. drive ours around today. You have fun with what you're going to do today. Yeah, you're just a couple days behind and just you could have with dude. us. Could have drilled some self-tappers into your tires and you could have came. Yeah. It, it kind of sucks because what he's about to do is going to be really fun, but maybe maybe in a couple weeks we'll go again or something. It'd be cool to bring both of them down there. So Yeah, I'm not too sure when they do this out there, but I mean, as long as we just get a snow day again, we could... We'll go find a parking lot or something. Yeah, either way. Or go mess day. around, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping Monday we can tune it, so maybe Monday we'll drive down to the shop, maybe we can rip them together. Okay, yeah, I can just slap my other wheels back on it, and we could go mob them out. Hell yeah. That'd be tight. Sounds good, dude. Well, I'm gonna adjust the tune a little bit, and then we're gonna go for a ride. Okay. You have fun. <laughs> These things are weird as shit, dude. Yeah, dude, I've never... Old school, yeah, I just, baby. I just did the exact same thing as you did. I was looking for it down there. I'm like, wait, wait where's that? It? It's way down there. All right, guys, so we are ready. It's ready to go on its first little journey around the block. Hopefully, it doesn't leave us stranded. And uh, might have to adjust the tune a little bit, but the plans are we are going to drive it around the block, make sure it's good, and then head to the car wash, get a car wash, and then after that, I'll probably have Carlos drive it. We're going to go get some food over at the uh, Johnson's Corner, and then while he's driving, I'm going to look at the tune and just kind of adjust it a little bit, see if we can get it to run pretty decent. So... He said he's going to turn up the boost. I guess, I mean, <laughs> honestly, the timing and, like, the timing map and everything is good for, I mean, it's really got, it's got a lot of, or it's got low timing in it in mm -hmm. boost. So, I mean, if the fuel is good, we could technically so make boost. So, we're going to hear some choo-choo noises, maybe? Well, it. We'll see. It Let's make it around the block first. It doesn't we'll have a weight, like, the wastegate, none of the vacuum lines are hooked up. Oh, okay. So, it's, it, it'll make a lot of boost, like, all of it. Excited? Oh, shit, that's low. Huh? Yeah.
Now take out your real card, bro. I know that ain't your real one. This is some bullshit. Let me see. That face, though. Probably the first wash in how many years? Try not to get all over the Try not to, I guess. Oh, dude, it's coming off. I guess it doesn't even matter though, it's that shitty. Oh, oh. Hurry up, bro, I'm freezing. <laughs> oh. What are you doing now? You're putting that wax in there or what? You're doing it on purpose now, huh? You know, like when you gotta pee? It's like the feeling I have right now, but I don't gotta pee. Yeah? <laughs> Did you start? Let's try to do it fast. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's that quick wash, though. Alright, I think we're good. Hey, you missed the spot, bro. You missed the spot, bro. Where? Oh shit. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, now I'm really thankful that you fixed that blower motor. <laughs> yeah, dude, not having heat would have sucked so bad. Yeah. All right, we're going back to the house really quick. I'm gonna try to tighten up the throttle cable just to see if it'll help it idle. It wants to idle like 750. again bro welcome back to the Honda fam feels so weird dude driving this thing yeah it is nice though like driving a stick shift is, is fun yeah you know you missed the Honda game you just don't, didn't want to say it look, look 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 you're thinking about it I'm thinking about what the f is that noise typical Honda stuff what noise who are you trying to race bro go Wait, does your car, does your RX-7 have one? Or no? Neither does my Integra. This is the only one we can road race with, bro. Ah, shit. <laughs> you can see the excitement every time you hear that. You're just trying to hide it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got done eating some food over here at Johnson's Corner. Carl's gonna drive it home, see if he stalls it. I'm definitely see how many it. times he can stall. Actually, we're gonna go get it. Uh, we're gonna go drive it to go get some 85. Actually, thought mine as well. We're out and about. Let's go get some 85. We got half a tank, so it'd be worth it. Ready to stall it? Yeah. You're first, by the way. Thanks. I just feel the gears, like they feel a little weird. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I told you, dude, it's weird. It's literally like it's right, right off, off the, huh? right off the floor. <laughs> You're gonna have to give it some gas. It's, it's idling. Little little little. Yeah. It's literally right off the floor. Huh? Yeah, literally right off the floor. Like that's why I told you I don't like it. It's freaking cold. Yeah, very cold. Oh, we just moved the RX-7 back in. Gonna work on this for a little bit while the wagon cools off so I can fix the return line. Kyle's back over there, I just heard him somewhere, but gonna upload this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, got a couple little things left to do on it. Just gotta fix that oil return line leak or whatever that is. It's got a couple little leaks too, I gotta figure that out. I think it's the valve cover. There's a bunch of snapped off bolts in the head so it only has a couple bolts holding the valve cover on. Got to do the blow off valve, the vacuum lines for the four port, and then also wire up the boost controller. So Maybe before the tune on, on Monday. So we got to get that ready for the tune on Monday. And other than that, what were you going to say? Yeah, just might maybe check out the suspension a little bit. Oh yeah. Check those axles. Too. Yeah, I might, <laughs> yeah, I might look at the axles, see 
what they are. I think they might be some type of B-series axles, so might fix those too, but for that, it's all okay for the dyno. It's got a couple little things you gotta button up. Make a video on that. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, go check out the heart stuff. Go get a sticker, a shirt, whatever. Every $5 spent gets you one entry towards the giveaway on those hearts. So thank you all for watching. What do you say, Kyle? See ya? It's freaking cold out. <laughs> <laughs>